All right, so good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Inferno Mode mod, the mod that adds an extra difficulty layer to the Calamity mod. In today's video, it is my goal to take down Astrum Deus, the Lunar Event, and also the Moon Lord, as this is the final episode before we transition into post Moon Lord Calamity, which to me, is my favorite part about Calamity. Welcome to 2024, everyone. We're about seven, like eight weeks in now. I think seven's right. Have you had a good year so far? I've had a very good year. I've been using the year to really work on myself and uh, and I think correct a lot of like bad habits I picked up during 2020, during the fabled time. We all know what I'm talking about, right? But during that year, I let a few things slip, and I don't think I ever recovered. So I've been back at the gym. I'm like the healthiest my body has ever been. I feel amazing. Uh, I'm reading again. I'm like chilled out. It's it's the best. <laughs> I feel like this year's gone really, really well. So yeah, I'm back. And I'm also like recording more than ever. Videos have not been out, but like I've been recording them. They will become videos eventually. I'm changing the way I do things. Yeah, okay, right. I hope you've had a good year, though. I really do hope it's been good. Um, I'm very positive. So, to give you a little bit of context before we jump into Astrum Deus, which is next, um, I tried to record this in November. Uh, I tried to record it at the end of November, early December, late December, and the beginning of January. After I grew tilted at the mod, um, I went and played through the whole of Eternity mode, so uh, Fargo Soul mod, so I'm a little bit more experienced. I'm hoping that bleeds into this. Um, yeah. So that's where I've been, kind of. <laughs> I mean, I've not just been like, you know, it, it, yeah, okay, right. So that's where I'm at. Anyway, basically, I really just stopped having fun. And once I stopped having fun, I was like, oh, no, I'm really not going to play this. I can tell. <laughs> so I just didn't. Anyway, right. Let's go. Let's go. First fight of the day. I'm very excited. I will beat this fight uh, today, genuinely. Um, I think what I learned from... Um, so I played through Eternity Mode. It's going to be a big video one day. Taking forever to edit because I'm learning a new editing software. Um, but yeah, anyway. I learned with that that essentially um, I need to be better at sticking things out. I mean, <laughs> does that not tie into my life quite a bit? Um, but yeah, so that's where I've picked that up, and I'm hoping that that continues. Now, we are using the Swarmer. I don't believe I had this in the last episode. I must have crafted it, um, in between episodes. It's essentially just a bee gun and a wasp gun and some fragments. It's, uh, it's quite a chill weapon. Um, so we'll see. I think I made this the last time I played. I don't know if I used it yet. But as you can tell, it's just a gun, right? Now, do we need to keep this boss in the arena? I don't know. Let me turn on real quick. I need to enable. There's a UI element, isn't there, for uh, for the boss thing, for the boss health bar. Okay, yeah, so boss bar style Infernum mod. Okay, this should let us know. I think there's like a little indicator if you enrage it. I've got to address something real quick. Um, chicken run two. All right, this was a, as we all know, a bit of a meme on the channel. I, I was a big chicken run guy. They randomly announced chicken run two. Um, I have seen chicken run two. And I hated it. I really disliked it. So the meme is officially dead. I mean, it was dead anyway, but it really is dead now. I really did not like that film. It was rubbish. <laughs> so, so there we go. <laughs> That's. I know you've all been waiting. Nobody's been wanting to see Inferno Mode. They've just wanted to hear my analytical review of a film about chickens. Although, I was really distraught the other day. I was in a Tesco. I was in the freezer aisle. And they were selling, like, boxes of uh, frozen chicken nuggets. But they had the Chicken Run 2 packaging. And I was like, what is this? Surely not. So I, like, pried open the freezer door with an uncontrollable rage. I feel like marketing chicken nuggets with the chicken run film. The film about chickens trying to escape not becoming a pie was just a little bit too far. Turns out, plant-based chicken nuggets or something like that. Like a vegan alternative. So that's kind of good. <laughs> it was still a bit not good. I will say, I think if I can figure out or just get like a little bit better at dodging that phase where the comets are falling down from the sky, Maybe it's something simple as just like, oh, just make sure you're moving away. Maybe it's like that, right? I think if I can get over that phase, I think I will 
master the first phase of this fight a lot more. Uh, I think that's what's holding me back right now because I'm losing so much life to that because every time you get hit by one of those comets, it's like 100 life. One of these ones, yeah. Look, <laughs> I die to it as I explain it. So I think I've found a, a better rhythm with the fight now. I've cleared out the floating island above and I think that's actually helped a fair bit. Uh, I'm using more vertical space, uh, but it's still like, you know, it's all a bit of a, a warm-up. What I'm also doing is a uh, rod of discording out of the way during the uh, the circular phase. Okay, so we are about to enter the second phase together. How will this be? Will this be awful? Uh, avoid the comets, James. I lose so much health during that phase, and you really just don't get the health back. <laughs> so... It's not ideal. Okay, here's the second phase then. What I'm hoping is it loses a bit of defense during the second phase and I can fight it a little bit quicker. Basically to say my damage doesn't feel good, which is like a common phrase on this channel. Like I'm always moaning about damage. I'm always insecure in my choices of builds. It's fine. It's okay. Okay, I'm just gonna let the... Ooh, I'm gonna let the, the primal instincts take over. And whoa, what is that? Why are they all? Leave me alone. I'm just hoping like, I don't know. I can't think of the word. It, my brain's turned to mush. But I'm hoping that my body will just take over and be like, all right, James, this is how we dodge. Okay, I think we're into the final phase now. Uh, Wow, it's <laughs> a very positive. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. Um, what did it say? That thing seems to have shed its outer shell. Brace yourself. It's going to be a lot faster now. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Because it was just fine before. All right. So, once again, we are in the... What the heck? What is that? Don't panic while trying to evade the bolts. Oh yeah, just the bolts. No, it was the lasers. It was the death lasers. I went to that very confident. I was like, oh, this is it. <laughs> I can talk, I'll be fine. So I'm not doing a very good job of uh, talking over it, but yeah, I guess for that phase, I'm probably gonna die here, but you just need to wait for it and then spin around, essentially. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, very good job of explaining, but yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll not talk over it next time and focus in, but essentially you get to the final phase, it bursts out, you spin around, and then it's like a faster version of the past two phases. All right, so it's now been a couple of days. I did not, in fact, beat the boss and then beat the Moon Lord all on the same day. No, and this is where I've been running into a bit of a roadblock with this boss. I find this third phase harder than some of the bosses in Eternity Mode, and I'm not even kidding about that. This is where I've been absolutely broken as a person. Very tilted, very rageful. You know, I went into this recording, you know, this, like, fought the temper a recording, very positive. No longer. Anyway, I found a new weapon. It's called the laser. Spelled a little like Mimi. It's like Lazar. Um, so it's from you get you need solar fragments. I'm just gonna very quickly do this event, make this weapon, and then by the end of this, try not pull my hair out. Next time I play a mod on this channel, it will not be this hard. Alright, I've been broken to my core. I don't know if it's because I spent the majority of my 20s. I started this uh, channel when I was like 19. The majority of my 20s playing very hard mods. I don't know if I'm just forever tilted now. I don't know what's happened to me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not been not been very good. But anyway, since we last spoke, it's been my birthday. A very good birthday. Very nice. I enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, so, you know, there's, there's been good things surrounding this mod. But this mod itself, nightmare absolute nightmare it's honestly it's not for the faint of heart you have to really commit to not enjoying yourself with this mod i know it sounds very cynical but i have like i've definitely reached the point where it, it, it's not that great <laughs> but you know what i find this with modded bosses sometimes right 
sometimes you'll reach a modded boss. For, for some people, it's different bosses, and you just won't like it. You'll have a hard time, a harder time than everybody else. It won't click with you, and then you get through it, and you enjoy the next six bosses. That's how Terraria mods kind of play out for me at this point, at least with the super hard ones. All right, so here it is, the laser, 115 magic damage, fires a highly volatile, concentrated solar beam. Uh, I just wanted to, to try something different. I was using the Swarmer for a bit. I realized it's it's not as good as the Nebula Blaze, but then I was like, well, modded weapons... I just put that in here, didn't I? Modded weapons are typically better. So I was like, right, let's... And I tapped out. What am I doing? <laughs> right, let's try it. Oh, it's this. Oh, I have used this in the past, but I think it was uh, a little bit different. Maybe, to be fair, I'm just getting confused with the, uh, the heat gun. Okay, so that weapon is definitely better. I was zooming through that fight, so I feel like that is going to be the key now to maybe mastering the final phase, because the problem I'm running into is I get to the final phase and I fumble it real quick, right? So I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, right, more damage, less fumbling, right? You know what I mean? Like, you make it quicker, it, it's better overall. So that's where I'm at with that. Um, I am feeling a little more optimistic. I feel good. I feel like I got it off my chest that I don't like Astrum Deus. Astrum Deus, you broke me, sir. All right? And, and I'm letting the world know. This has been a recurring monthly long thing where I play a little bit, get tilted at this fight, leave the mod. <laughs> I, want, I want you all to know Astrum Deus did it to me. <laughs> So I will say, I did not realize for the longest time that you can fly through the boss at this uh, point. I don't know too much about uh, boss AI and games where some bosses have like contact damage, some don't. I don't play a lot of games like that. I don't feel like obviously through years of playing Terraria I've kind of learned that either. D do you know what I mean? Like some phases it's like, oh you can touch the boss, some you can't. For example, right, Deer Clops in normal Terraria. Is that a boss you can touch? Is it a boss you can't? I don't know off the top of my head. I'm very grateful we didn't get hit by that twice. Right, uh, we got pretty close. We got very close. Please let this be over with. I'm done. I am done. Aston Deus, that's it. <laughs> I will continue, but I am <laughs> I am miserable. Nah, I want, I want this to be done though. For real. For real. Oh my god, let's go! Hell yeah! Astron Deus has been defeated. The Seal of Stars has been broken. You can now mine Astral Ore. Oh my gosh. Hell yeah. Wow. All right, here we go. Let's go. It's done. I'm very proud. I am. Okay? All right, here we are. How long did it take? Forever. It's fine. That really did take a long time, though. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see now if the next boss or the next boss pulls me right back in. Because I will say, very much over, Astrum Deus. <laughs> and I'm never doing it again. Oh, this is so exciting. This is so good. It's nice to finally be able to see, like, what the next chapter is. Because I'll be real with you. I didn't think we were getting there. I thought this was this whole saga was just gonna sit in a recording bay somewhere, never being released to the world. You know? That's okay. 
So we've got astral ore now, which means we can make astral armor, which I believe is the final set of armor that we make before the Moon Lord. And I also believe, just to make it easier, since we already have all the accessories, there is a mage weapon that we can get from Astrum Deus. Now, hopefully, we can buy the treasure bag so I don't have to do the fight multiple times. <laughs> that fight there, though, was definitely one of those cases where if I wasn't making a Let's Play and I wasn't bringing you long along for the adventure, I would have just stopped playing. Like, I would have done. I know it. I know it in my bones. I am like that. You know, if it's a, a game that I'm not, like, fully vibing with, I just stop. Obviously, you know, with the context of this, though, it feels a bit mean to just be like, all right, everyone, we're packing it in. I have had to do it in the past, though. I remember there was a, a series where we did Fargo's Masochist mode before it was Eternity mode, and I got stuck on a version of Duke Fishron for, like, 10 hours. Uh, there was a version of Calamity back when the YouTuber Leviathan was the one doing, like, a lot of the balance changes. There was a Supreme Calamitous in that where I had to stop. I think they're the two cases I remember vividly. There might have been another, though. I think there was. I think it was Thorium, actually. I think it might have been the Ragnarok fight with Thorium. There was one Thorium series where that fight was just so broken. I, I, I was like, nah, I'm, I'm, that's it. I feel content. Right, so let's put our relic up here with pride. Uh, we have two for some reason. I feel like the second one is a pity one. It's fine. Okay, so we shall dump uh, some of the stuff that we've got inside. Uh, we'll have a little read of this, actually. I feel like we have deserved a, a break and, uh, and a little paragraph reading. I'm just making sure that none of these are, like, major things. Okay, so we got the treasure bag. Bam. We got the Hide of Astrum Deus, equipable. Taking damage or inflicting a true melee strike drops an immense amount of astral stars from the sky. Taking damage boosts true melee by 50%, so it's a, a true melee one. Very cool. We also got the microwave. That is class. <laughs> that actually brought back like something vivid in me. Because I haven't had a microwave that made that sound since I was a kid. And I don't know, that was like, <laughs> that was very strange. Okay, um, what a nostalgia trip. Right, so, Astrum Deus. On our world, this being is revered as the god of the night sky. It is said to devour dying stars and birth new ones in turn. Unlike the many gods you or I know, it is guiltless. An important distinction for it was equally as diseased as they. The infection that tainted its body is from beyond Terraria. Neither I nor Draedon recognizes it fully. With its will subsued, it hurled a chunk of infested astral matter at our world, then came to guard it. Thankfully, such a grandiose being that walks amongst the stars is likely not truly dead. While the land has paid a terrible price, the price of a wrongful conviction is still higher. Very, very fancy. I think we can all agree. Okay, so astral bars, I think we make. Yep, here they are, astral bars. They're made from stardust and the uh, the ore itself. So we'll make up uh, a whole bunch of these. We've got quite a bit to go. Oh, wow, there's loads, isn't there? Right, okay. Let's have a little look then at some of the crafting recipes because it's been a long time since I've been in late game Calamity, so I'm not going to know all of these. So the first thing is the astral armor uh, itself, right? Let's let's leave one out. This is how I like to, to do things, okay? Right, astral. Uh, astral. So we'll make the breastplate. Thank you. Uh, we'll make the helmet. Awesome. Uh, do we have some leggings as well? I think we do. Wait, how come I, I can't make the leggings? Oh, it's because it's made with a meteorite. Uh, let's make the leggings as well. Thank you very much. Uh, so what are these then? Uh, astral chunk. We've already done that. Uh, dimensional monolith. That sounds cool. Uh, beacon summons Astron Deus in exchange for specific offerings. Okay, cool. Um, right, so I want to see then what the weapon was we were meant to make. I'm going to first look for all of these and just see if there's anything that's interesting. I think this is probably one of them. Ethereal Core. 
Uh, do we have nebula fragments? I think we might do. Uh, let's see. Core. Uh, ethereal core. Okay, awesome. Permanently increases maximum mana by 50. Can only be used once and requires the max amount of mana crystals consumed. Bam. Very, very fancy. I just realized we placed this in the wrong spot. All right, it's corrected. Okay, so let's speak to um, to this NPC here and see, will you sell me the bag? You do. It's six platinum, so we can only buy one. Bam. We got quite a bit there. Chromatic Orb summons an ancient dragon-like pet that highlights nearby enemies and danger sources. Okay, cool. Um, we got the microwave again. We got the rogue weapon this time and more fragments. I do like that it gives you so many fragments. We'll farm for some moolah in a little bit um, because I want to get the mage weapon. But that is, uh, that's really cool. Okay, so moving over to the uh, armor then. Right now we have 102 defense. Our set bonus is uh, this. <laughs> moving over, bam, bam, bam. Uh, 122 defense. Uh, set bonuses, 5% increased movement speed and plus 3 max minions. 35% increased damage and 25% increased critical strike chance. Whenever you crit an enemy, a barrage of stars will rain down. This effect has a 1 second cooldown. So there it is in full. Very, very fancy. Whoever did the artwork for that, well done. Because it looks very cool. So this is actually the weapon we're trying to get. It's called the Star Shower. Casts a spread of astral stars at the mouse cursor. Yeah, okay, cool. I just, I don't know, it seemed fitting to to wanna make it, considering the fact we put in so much effort. What is, <laughs> what is this? I was farming Destroyer for, uh, for money. <laughs> what was that? That was wicked. Oh, have I missed out on, like, a really sick update? Is that what's happened here? I've never seen out like that in Terraria before. That was class. That was so cool. Okay, uh, I didn't get the moolah I needed. I'm trying to think of, like, ways to farm money. I've got the Fargo Soul Mod brain on, where I'm like, oh, yeah, Fargo Soul Mod. You just buy a couple of boss summons. You fight the brain of Cthulhu 100,000 times, you know? What do I do in Calamity? I, I, my mind is mush. Well, we have nine platinum, so maybe, potentially, we get a special weapon. Let's have a little look. Okay, right, let's speak to you once again. Sell me a bag. Bam. Did we get it? Oh, we got it. Hell yeah. All right, this is this is now my, my favorite day of the year. Okay, Star Shower. Let's see it in action. Oh, it's good. It's good. I don't know how it would do against the Moon Lord, though. Seems a little strange to... um. It's not like it's going to be able to hit all different eyeballs at once, but that is cool. Uh, we also got this uh, ranged weapon as well. Very neat. Very neat. So I know I mentioned the Moon Lord at the start, but I think we are going to wrap it up there. I think since it's been a big break, this gives us a little chance to catch up. And also, if you have any recommendations for me to make before we go into the Moon Lord fight, I would like to hear them. I would like to know so I can go in prepared. And, um, and yeah, we are back. That was a very hard fight. Hopefully, and we've still got a lot left. Hopefully, it doesn't just get, like, awful and awful. Right. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.